It's a great pleasure for me to be back in Tamil Nadu for third time since I arrived in uh, India last year. I would like to express my gratitude to Yeto for organizing, and all, the, all was involved, for organizing this event and also to give me this platform to present Seychelles. Seychelles, Dr. Iqbal has already uh, summarized the, co the bilateral cooperation between the two countries, which I always uh, qualify as a big sister and a small sister. India, yes. but we have a big voice, and uh, surely you have heard about Seychelles' role, what we, it plays, especially in the conservation of environment. Despite small, Seychelles, and despite its limited resources, Seychelles has achieved a lot. We have achieved a lot. And uh, its it's security, a... maritime security. Seychelles presently, we hold the presidency of the Indian Ocean Commission, where, uh, which group in the small island uh, in the Indian Ocean. Seychelles is a member of bodies such as the Indian Ocean Commission, I just mentioned, the African Union, SADC for regional, COMESA, IORA, Indian Ocean Regional, uh, uh, regional Association, plays a vital role in advancing regional integration initiatives, aiming at achieving common goals and shared prosperity among member states. The country's strategic partnership with nations have bolstered its international standing and economic development. What's about India? Like I said initially, our big sister. India and Seychelles, we do not share only the vast Indian Ocean, nor the historical ties, but also a strong relationship based on people-to-people -people connections and a win-win collaboration. Among so others, for you to come to Seychelles, visit, invest, and consider Seychelles not only as a place, on, as a beauty place, a beautiful place, but as a land of significant business potential. Seychelles is open for business. Come. Let's collaborate, innovate, and grow together. Be part of our vision for sustainable development and mutual prosperity. Looking forward to welcoming you all to Seychelles. Thank you. Good evening for everybody. Excellency High Commissioner of the Seychelles, Your Excellence, Honorable Guest, Friends of the Media, and to colleagues from Commonwealth countries. Welcome to India Commonwealth Third Meeting of Seychelles in Tamil Nadu. In 1953, Her Majesty the Queen administered the Commission Commonwealth as a partnership built on friendship, royalty, and the desire for freedom and peace. She has given her life to wish to this vision. As we celebrate her 70 years anniversary, we express our deepest thanks and respect. We also warmly welcome her representative, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. Her Majesty vision continue to guide us as a family of nation. And India relationship with the Commonwealth, Commonwealth to new height, unfold our value and set an example for the world. As Her Majesty said, it is easy, easy to hate and uh, destroy, to build and to cherish is much more difficult. Today we have a unique 
opportunity to live by those words thank you expensive for your time in tamil nadu thank you thank you so much for your uh, uh, presence in tamil nadu and a warm welcome though you have visited before but this is uh, specifically excellency on the commonwealth uh, you know conference and promoting sessions and as one of the countries our previous uh, sessions on india commonwealth have had tanzania ghana uh, we have had uh, when uh, gabon uh, gabon and togo entered we had their sessions and then we had uh, uh, you know australia then we had new zealand and uh, now we are happy that sessions is now here india sessions historical background our bilateral engagement with seychelles is characterized by our historical contacts and continuous support to seychelles today india and seychelles relations embody close relationship it was in the year 1770 that a small group of five indians landed in seychelles as plantation workers and were recorded as the first inhabitants of the islands diplomatic ties were established with seychelles after its independence in 1976 and seychelles attained freedom on 29 june in 1976 a contingent from the indian naval ship ins nilgiri took part in the independence celebrations in 1979 in victoria the indian mission was established whereas that time the mission was based in tanzania dar es salaam and uh, now the first resident commissioner was appointed in 1987 from india the first visit by the prime minister was by the uh, our prime minister modi in 2015 it in 34 years that was the first prime ministerial level visit a highly successful visit with substantial outcomes signing of various uh, officials uh, coast guard the ps raster they participated in vizag in 2024 in the milan uh, milan 2024 at vizag the developmental assistance program between our countries are happening in a very big way it center of excellence which was set up in victoria with the government of india assistance was inaugurated in 2011 and uh, we hope that uh, this particular iit's uh, initiative Uh, in a very small way is going to be initiated along with uh, excellency the flights that are also going to start between india and seychelles we will soon very hope that uh, chennai and seychelles also will have flights and uh, of course our uh, uh, mr karunanithi who's uh, established businessman in seychelles uh, is supporting our incubation center there and also supporting these uh, initiatives to see how the private sector can get involved and uh, excellency as we discussed today we are also initiating to have identify a location for having a convention center the commonwealth convention center so that we can uh, start having these programs from the commonwealth side in seychelles so once again i look forward to a very enthralling evening and excellency welcome uh, to tamil nadu and beautiful chennai thank you so much dear friends surely it is a privilege for me to be on this dais especially in this august audience to give a few words on rocketry the film which has given substantial progress in the isro the indian rocket science as you know isro the pride of india was put under high pressure following the espionage of ISRO bribe case under which the prominent scientist Nambi Narayanan was there. arrested. They, act, uh, they worked with the aeronautic scientist in France and they got the techno know-how and in India he developed the vigas engine in 1993 by the end of 93 and in 94 he test launched the first dr lalitian also and i remember in the 70s when many of the indian radio stations were not clear we used to hear radio stations that's the memory in my <laughs> Mm, we are with me since 1970s that seychelles is in my mind radio seychelles surely i am, I am waiting eagerly waiting to visit your country to do some business if possible with you and if possible to have our next you know our next film is about uh, 
ജി ഡി നായിഡു ദ ഗ്രേറ്റ് സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ദ എഡിസൺ ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ഹു വാസ് സബോട്ടാഷ്ഡ് ബൈ ദ ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് ഗവൺമെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഹി ഹി വാസ് എ വൺ മാൻ സോൾജർ അഗൻസ്റ്റ് ദ ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് റെജിമിൻ ഇന്ത്യ വി ആർ ജസ്റ്റ് അവർ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഫിലിം ഈസ് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് വൺ ആൻഡ് വി വിൽ ലൈ ടു ഹൗ ദ വി ഹാവ് ഗോട്ട് ഷൂട്ടിംഗ് ഇൻ വേരിയസ് കൺട്രീസ് വി വിൽ ലൈ ടു വി സെറ്റ് സൈഷ്യൽസ് ഓൾസോ ആൻഡ് യൂട്ടിലൈസ് ദ പോസിബിലിറ്റീസ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ ആ ലവിംഗ് താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് Your Excellency, the High Commissioner of Seychelles to India, Your Excellency, the newly appointed Indian High Commissioner to Cameroon, Dr. Asif Iqbal, the dynamic and the most lovable President of IETO, <coughs> Honorary Consuls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to be invited to speak at the India Seychelles Dialogue 2024, organized by IETO in Chennai tonight. And I would like to thank IETO, its President Dr. Asif Iqbal, for asking me to say a few words on this occasion. As you heard, I was Australia's first trade commissioner in South India. I opened the offices for the Australian Trade Commission in Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, and Kochi as the head of South India. Then I went on to become the Senior Trade Commissioner for India and South Asia for trade and investment for the Government of South Australia. So with my being an Australian citizen, having worked for the Australian Government for two decades and represented the Australian Government in India and in South India, I would like to primarily talk about Australia today. The Commonwealth Tourists as you know, and along. students, Australia as you know is a highly sought after destination. On the cultural side, Indians are the fastest growing migrants with nearly a million Indians already calling Australia their home. And this constitutes almost 4% of Australia's population. Today, Australia's relationship with the Commonwealth remains relevant as it navigates a complex global landscape characterized by geopolitical tensions, economic uncertainties, and pressing social issues. The Commonwealth serves as a forum for Australia to engage with both developing and developed nations, providing a platform for diplomacy and collective action. Together with India, Seychelles, and the rest of the 54 member community of Commonwealth, I'm sure uh, Australia will play a very strong role in making this world a more um, peaceful, more sustainable, and more developed uh, 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 world and i don't want to take more option because today it's not about australia it's about india and seychelles so i would like to conclude by thanking uh, ieto and its president uh, once again for inviting me today and thank you all for listening to me patiently thank you seychelles is a beautiful country i love to visit that country and uh, people of seychelles are uh, the extended family of people of bharat so as the excellency was speaking she told we are the younger sister to the elder sister so india always has a great affection and we are very happy after their independence our prime minister narendra modi was the first prime minister to visit seychelles and give a closeness more closer and the economic front also there are a lot of opportunities i saw in this videos and the speech of his uh, her excellency that uh, all our people in this uh, uh, the who have visited this uh, program should use the opportunity at least visit once so they get a feel and experience of uh, seychelles and i'll be the first man to visit seychelles thank you for the opportunity thank you thank you very much uh, for inviting me madam it was a pleasure to have you today uh, in the at madras campus and i think the speed at which you work uh, i can understand i met you today in the morning evening i'm standing in uh, podium addressing people so uh, thank you so much uh, very quickly um, uh, at madras um I, many of you might know uh, while we are uh, the number one engineering institute in india 
Uh, we have also uh, been looking at uh, uh, taking IIT Madras uh, globally. And for people who don't know, uh, we started our first uh, offshore campus in East Africa, in yes. Zanzibar, uh, starting their own businesses and so on. At IIT Madras, through our research park, we have been able to enable lots of youngsters to do that. We have learned a lot in terms of how students go uh, from college to entrepreneurship. So we can bring that knowledge to countries around uh, that are interested in seeing how we have done this and probably adopting some of those. So there are lots of things that uh, we can do together and today's visit is the first step in that. And uh, we're very pleased to have the delegation at IIT Madras and hopefully we can uh, make some meaningful contributions to Seychelles. Uh, thank you again for uh, inviting me here. Very pleased to be here and uh, wish uh, this program all success. Thank you.